Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to Pop Turnative. This is the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions, the worlds of TV, pop culture, music, lifestyle, everything really depending on the guests we talk about it all. As always, I'm Rose Perviotis. On social media, know me as Peter Beats. My guest is a musician, just released his new anthem, he's calling it, called The Weatherman. Excellence is with us. Excellence, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Thank you for having me. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm excited to chat with you. I mean, it's an exciting time because you like anytime you have a new song and you post it, it's like calm before the storm a little bit, right? Like, what are people gonna think about it? What what's the what what's this like journey of Weatherman been for you so far? Yo, it's so it's been it so far it's been amazing. Yep. I make music. I'm 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 an artist artist. I yep. make a rec I make a record every week. Every, every week, I'm making music constantly, constantly, constantly. Yeah, and I'm inspired by things going on in the, in the real world. I'm a pop culture artist. So the Weatherman was based off of a tweet that LeBron James just posted a week, a week and a half ago that went viral, where he's talking about he's been he's been injured. You know, everybody know everybody. Wait, he's the goat. He's the greatest of all time. I'm sorry, Jordan fans. Really, come on now. My, the eye test don't lie. Anyway, <laughs> the goat said, "I'm about to drop a storm. The Weatherman is coming on the NBA." He had been injured for a little bit. So he's looking at and surveying what's happening in the playoffs. And he's about to drop another one on everybody and come back to the playoffs and take another crown, another title to LA. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh wow, I, I feel I feel that energy because I feel like that's what I feel like I, I'm embodying when I come on the music in the music industry this summer. Yep. It's like the weatherman bringing a storm, and I went and cooked this record up, and, and that's what that's what came out for me. Absolutely, for people that have listened to your songs in the past, the weatherman and other songs that you have, I mean, what one thing you do, I mean. There's a lot of sounds going on. There's a lot of influences. There's a lot of vibes going on. I don't think artists are putting themselves in a box anymore. There's a lot of genre bending. What do you kind of think about that happening these days? I, li- I like that. I like yeah. that. I like that. I tell my, I tell people all uh, right now, people like you're a rapper. I'm like, no, I'm a pop artist. Happens to rap. Yeah, that well, is interesting. I've never heard of that. That I, that's awesome. That's like a mic drop moment right there. We could just end the inter- we could just end the interview right there on that note. <laughs> And then, and then I tell people I'm the best pop, I'm the best pop rapper in the world. Yeah. The world, period zero. I don't have because I like I listen to like a lot of what rap rap is doing right now. Yeah. And it's not I'm like that's not that's good. It's great, but it's not me. I like music that's gonna make it for everybody. I want people to have fun and dance and have fun and live their life and turn up. You know what I mean? And I demand, I make I make what what you would call today pop records. Yep. Not 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 like the hardcore shit. You know what I mean? Like. I bless them. Like, I'm not in the mumble rap. I'm not in the. I, I want to make shit that people who listen to want to hear, want to dance, want to groove. When you hear absolutely, my rap, but when you're putting when you're putting these songs together, I mean, um, it's interesting because I the, I ask this question to a lot of artists that I interview because you always get a different answer. So I'm really excited to hear what your answer is. But you're putting together a song, you're developing it, you're producing it, right? When do you know you're on to something, something good? Like, is it when you're like, while you're writing it, is it like playing the playback? Is it putting it out? When it's, is it? When I'm, when I want it, when it's, when a song touches me, yep. I'm, I'm very much, I, I feel, I feel the music. Yep. I, I, I once saw this, this super, this famous psychic, um, Ursula Stevens, who like was like Clinton psychic. And it, I, I, I'm had a hard childhood. So I didn't really understand myself and come into myself. And the first thing she told me, she's like, you need to, somebody needs to sit you down and realize you feel music. She's like, go study Mozart. Mozart felt the music and felt it. And it feels it in your soul, in your life, whatever. And, and so, and she told me that and helped me because it, she's like, be careful because it will, it, bad music make you feel sad. Certain music, you you really take it really deep. So I feel music. So when I hear a record or I hear a beat or I hear something, it, it makes me feel it. And it speaks to me sometimes, right? The beat will speak to me. And, it, and the concept comes from that at that yeah. point. It might be a beat. It might be a thing. It, sometimes I could be watching a movie or TV, anything, anything. And it'll be like, oh, wow. Stop it. Let me get that. You know what I mean? My friends know, people around me know me, be like, uh oh, there he goes again in his voice notes. I don't have like a million voice notes. And they're just ideas for concepts of songs or that, whatever. And from that, it, it sparks. Or if a producer comes in and they play me something that's fire, I immediately come with what it's going to be out right there. And I build it from there. Absolutely. No, for sure. It's interesting too, because, you know, streaming platforms like Spotify are game changers in a lot of ways for artists like excellence i mean excellence currently has over fifty thousand um listeners over a month on a monthly basis that listen to your tunes which is crazy like that's a lot of people um 
When did you kind of notice the sp- Drake numbers? But we're working on that. We're getting there. We're it's going to get it. I, I mean, 50,000 people. That's a stadium, man. That's pretty cool to think about that. <laughs> you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Wow. Thank you. I feel better myself. But it's interesting because we all, it's funny because I get some really good views on my show, right? And people are like, wow, that's awesome. I'm like, no, man, I want more. Like, I'm never satisfied. I think that's a natural thing with art, right? Yeah, you want to. You're you never want, satisfied. Yeah, and not, yeah, exactly. And you also want to, like, not compete, but you want to be put up there and, like, you know what I mean? Weighted with, against some of the other ones that are there. Yep. And you know, especially when you know, you know, you have something hot. You have a hot, you have a hot show, a hot concept. You want everybody, you want to be mass, consu- mass appeal. You want to mass consume. So, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you're getting it, it. It's one of those things, too, where when did you kind of notice that? the streaming game was the real deal. Like, was it kind of early on when you were writing songs? Like, is it kind of recently when you're putting Weatherman? Like, when have you noticed that, like, damn, yeah. this is... The last, the last year. I, yeah. I wish I played it. I wish I had known it earlier, earlier, yeah. right? It was the last year. Yeah. I had a project. Up. I had a project. I had I had a project when, my, when I did my first deal with Capital. I had a distribution of Excellent Music, which is the, the logo, Excellent yeah. Music. And with independent distribution, I didn't want to sign to them. And I put out an EP... And the project was in the project, and that one came out on Spotify early, like three years ago, and it did a million streams in two weeks, one point two, all right. And then they didn't follow up on some things they were supposed to, the capital at the time, and so my manager was like, okay, well you can keep it up on Apple, or whatever, but Spotify take it down, we're gonna redo it independently because you're not doing it or whatever. And I didn't understand streaming like it is now. Yep. I would have just let them keep it, let them keep their part of it, because that that million would have been five now, six. You yeah. know what I mean? On I that know. first that first project. So I, I took that took that shell, but I learned. But I think the streaming is a real deal, and I get it. And it's upset. It frustrates me a little bit here and there because you have to get playlists and playlists, and, and they're trying to figure out who who the, the owners of it is. That's the murky world. But I do feel like it's a way for people to who who to like you, to listen to you, to decide where they like you, and decide they're going to be a listener and decide they're going to be a fan casually, as opposed to just dropping money and you're buying it. Cause right now that was, that was the, that's the divide. So I do, I do like that aspect of it a lot. Absolutely. Um, you hope the uh, obvious answer to this question is you hope people enjoy it. You hope they, um, it resonates with them. They, they feel impacted, but diving deep into it a little bit more when people listen to excellence, what are you hoping they get out of it? I hope they make some feeling. I hope they get and hope they're intrigued. I hope they enjoy uh, the journey. I'm not just I'm saying I, you know I'm making people have fun, dance, maybe you may, or maybe people thought provoking stuff. I don't just just drop records about the same four things. You know what I mean? Or if I'm doing it, it's, I take different, different perspective. I, I'm from the age of the, the golden age. I like I, I studied music. I studied hip hop. I studied music. Uh, even going back, like I'm a, I'm I'm, a, I'm a, I love the Beatles. I love Bob Dylan. I love you know what I mean Biggie, Jay Z. I study so. I like that when we're telling stories and we like whatever, and I don't feel like that. I think that's sorely missing anymore. And so I like to give people a journey, but also like to have people have fun and turn up. I like, you know what I mean? Like my shows are like Lady Gaga meets like the, the Earth, Wind, and Fire. I'm a turn. I turn all the way. I bring. I bring. I want to bring that that vibe and bring the feeling back to music. So, so it's, I, it's I, probably I, been tough for you with not any shows right now. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, yes. I can't wait. I can't wait. It's gonna be like popping me out of cannon. Like when it when it goes through. Yeah, I'm. I'm afraid. I'm actually afraid I'm gonna hurt myself. Have you partaked in a lot of the like the live streams, like the Instagram lives and stuff? Did you experiment with that a little bit? A little bit here and there. I did. I did vote. I did. I vote. Right. Yeah. I vote. I vote initiative. I did performance. That was fantastic. I did that for to get everybody out and vote. I did. And I actually did a song called "Vote, Vote, Vote." Just, just period. Because I was so important. I felt it was so important to vote. Whatever side you vote, just vote. I did a yeah. song for that. But by and large, I feel like it's still there's a little bit of the buy. I can't wait to get back and just flex my wings and just like, you know it just did just turn up like and i think we're coming soon thank god the vaccines are happening i got one we got it you know what i mean like pfizer hashtag pfizer but i i you know i just i, I want I, I feel like we're coming back to that point when it's gonna be and i feel like if history teaches anything mm-hmm. 100 years ago spanish flu and afterwards what four years they call it the roaring 20s yes we got, it's about to be oh on. it's gonna be but here's the thing though i have to tell you right because i i interview you know a lot of people i interview a lot of musicians like yourself i interview a lot of people on TV shows, press junkets for new shows and movies, right? All the time, right? And it, you have right. to think, though, like what we're doing right now, you have right. to think of, obviously you miss the events, meeting people, being in a room, talking to press and everything, but this is cost-effective what we're doing right now. You have to think about that, the virtual press junket, right? Yeah, it, yeah it's cost-effective to a degree, right? Yeah. But if you're, if you're, if it's cost-effective to a degree, mm-hmm. 
as an artist, I worry, right? Because it's like, and I told my manager, I was be, I've been independent for the most part. Yeah. And looking, and now I'm like telling them, I'm like, look, I'm looking for, a, we, we're looking for the right opportunity, cut the check, the right label, cut the check. Yeah. He's like, you don't want to do it, they able to do it before. I'm like, I make it, I make a song a week. I'll do a six album deal. I don't, I don't care. I never, you know what I mean? It's not about that. But I want someone who's helping promote and market me and taking me, take me to that level. Why? Absolutely. Because every major artist in the last year and a half hasn't dropped a record, if you notice that, right? No. Every, every, you ever heard of Adele? You ever heard of Beyonce? They're hibernating. Rihanna. Drake, everybody's holding, right? Why? Because they can't tour, can't make money, can't like they would normally, right? Yeah. So certain people, you can in this space, you can build. And we have some new people coming up, a few people here and there, like the Jack, Carlos, and the Megan, but and the baby. But for the most part, it's been quiet. But in when everything opens up, all the big dominoes got to fall, and all those labels got to, all those people got to fall. So if you're independent or small, my worry is I don't want to get lost in the shuffle because I can't, I can't compete with that. There's only a certain amount of spots on radio. There's only a certain amount of spots on playlists. So for me, that's the frustrating part. So what we're doing now, it, it building, building, right? But I need, I like, I'm, I told him, I'm like, yo, and then anybody out there listening, excellence is about to be, I'm, I'm not just the regular artist. I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it to be the best. I'm about to, I want all the Grammys. Right now, once I got 20, I'm behind, right? I want to do it and do it again and do it again. But I feel like to compete, we're about to be, it's about to be hit with a storm. Like li literally, we're yeah. about to hit with every major, all of our best music in the next year is about to hit. And yeah. that's the only worry I have. I, I was talking more about the fact that you could do a, like you could actually do interviews with people from all over the world to get your music out there. You don't have to be at a certain place. Yeah, and, and that, well, that's good. And that, I think that was, and I think that's good. And I think the, that won't change this mobility and allowing people to do things el elsewhere. Yeah. I think we will, we'll, the, the, I think the, the, the culture will learn from that. So I think even after things pick back up, I think you'll still find you'll be able to do these things mobily like like now. It's more acceptable. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. It does make sense. Excellence. Thank you so much for coming on Popternative, the chat, man. This was yeah, awesome. That's so much fun. Please have me back soon. Yeah, absolutely. Can you just plug away right now? Like, Weatherman's yeah. out now, other songs. Just plug away, man. Go for it. My name is Excellence. I'm the best in the world at what I do. Got a new single out called Weatherman. About to drop a storm. It's for LeBron. I did it for LA Kids LeBron. NBA fans. I have an album coming out soon, Summer of Excellence. I have go to my Spotify. My Spotify is at Excellence and Excellence X C L L E N C E. I dropped the first E a long time ago. Andre Excellence on Instagram. I'm about to take over. And about 365 from now, I'm gonna be one of your best rappers or your favorite rappers, or your favorite artist. Excuse me, your favorite pop artist who happens to rap. Amazing. Well, this has been Pop Turnive, youtube.com slash pop for previous episodes. Until next time, it says excellence and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Popternative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.